Hi everyone, happy Monday. Uh, thanks for being here. Thanks for all of the people that have subscribed to my channel. I'm almost at 500 and that is um, really cool. I have a new project today. Um, this is a design team project for uh, Amanda at Create with Scrimping Mommy. It uses several of her lovely digitals. And um, I was starting off making a junk journal and it turned into a little mini book. And I guess whenever I start making something that's a book, it becomes a story. So um, if you will allow me, I'm going to read you the story and then I will go through more detail of how I constructed the book. So this story is The Picture Man. And I put the story in this cute little album. I am a traveling photographer, the picture man, as the children like to call me. My livelihood is accepting portrait commissions in various cities. My train departs tomorrow for a month long journey. Along with my many cases and trunks, I carry close to my heart, Matilda and Jane my wife and young daughter, whom I will dearly miss. My room here is small, but the boarding house matron, who is an accomplished cook and seamstress, has allowed me access to her wonderful library. I shall not lack for comfort. A family sitting today, a gentleman with 12 children. Can you imagine that, Matilda? Before I retire, letters from home. Sweet reminders, I am indeed a lucky man. So many faces have I viewed through my lens, but yours is the one I seek as I close my eyes to rest. Yours and our sweet Jane's. The gentlemen's club sittings today were more laborious than a house full of rambunctious children. Never have I seen such dour looks. A sunny afternoon spent treasure hunting today, a cheerful bonnet for my Matilda and a china doll for little Jane. Happy day, I am packed and bound for home tomorrow. Where thou art, that is home. Miss Emily Dickinson, American Poet. So very Victorian vibe here. I used um, several of Amanda's kits, uh, Victorian or vintage elements, dapper gent, Victorian gent, a mini book kit that she did, travel, journal tags, mega, mega bundle, book lovers emporium. She has so many of them um, and a lot of them were freebies on her Kofi site or on her Facebook page. So go and check that out. The links are below this video. And um, as I said, I started by writing the uh, story in this little miniature album that was part of her kit and tuck it under this belly band. And the book construction is basically three regular envelopes folded in half and bound together. And then the um, decorative papers added after I stitched around them and added all the elements to them. And then the ribbon underneath the front and back page elements. And then this cool binding here is called a tacket binding. And it's another option um, as opposed to an easy pamphlet stitch. It's still very easy. And I do plan to demo how to do that. So in keeping with Victorian style, I had a lot of lace and buttons and um, I loved all the vintage elements. And I tried to make it interactive. I do love an interactive book. So, but um, I tried to uh, just use the images and, you know, the, before long, the story just sort of started telling itself. And so I had to write it down. And to me, it just made the book feel a little more complete. I have things tucked in that, um, you know, that seem significant to the story. And Amanda's wide variety of digitals made it pretty easy to tell this one. So 
So thank you for coming along on this journey. Um, it was very fun telling the story of this traveling photographer uh, and imagining what life would be like for someone in that line of work at that time period. So thanks for coming along. I will see you in the next one. Um, I will do a quick demo of how to do this tacket binding following this, and then um, I'll see you in the next next video. All right, as promised, I'm gonna show you how to do this tacket binding. It's a very ancient kind of binding method, um, and I think it's kind of cool looking on the outside, a little bit rustic, um, but it's a little more interesting than a simple pamphlet stitch binding. But it's also very easy to do. So what we're gonna do, I just put a mock-up here of a few pieces of paper and a cardstock cover. And we're going to poke two holes for every tacket stitch. This is like one tacket stitch here. For every one of these, you need one pair of holes. If you had a very tall book, you could do three of these maybe, and then you would need six holes, two for each pair. So I am going to poke these roughly about a half an inch above and a half an inch below my page. And um, I'm poking the holes plenty deep because my thread is a little bit thick. And you need thread that is about three times the height of your book. And you need two blunt needles. If you don't have blunt tip needles, you run the risk of um, poking your holes uh, twice and you don't wanna do that. So a blunt tip needle, like a tapestry needle is, is good to use. And you need to thread one needle on each end of the thread for each pair of holes, for each tacket stitch, you're, you're going to do this. So if you have three sets of tacket stitches that you're gonna do in your book if the very, for a very tall book, you only need two needles, but you're gonna have three pieces of thread so that you can do the stitch three times. So this is how it starts. Um, we are going to start on the outside of the book and put one needle in each hole. Bring it to the inside and then make sure that you line up the needles to have them have this, them be even on the book. And then what we're gonna do is thread them back through the alternating holes. So the left needle goes in the right side and to the outdoor outside, and the right needle goes in through the left side and back out. It gets a little tight in here because you have the thread going through multiple times. Okay, probably take that off. Okay, now you're left on the outside here Make sure everything is taut. And you're going to take one needle and twist it around that center stitch. This is very thick thread, so I would say maybe three times. And then the last one, I'm going to take it around like I'm doing another stitch, but I'm gonna bring my needle up through the loop to form a, a quilter's knot. And then I'm gonna repeat that so that there's a secure knot at the end of this, of that stitch. And then we're gonna use the other side, the other needle, and do the same thing. So we're gonna take it down through that stitch and wrap it around three times again. And then we're gonna take it one more time, but we're gonna go through the loop instead of bringing it through. 
and this will be a knot at the end. And then double that to do the knot securely. I'm running out of uh, needle space. And then you can take your needles off and trim the thread and your book is bound. So thanks for coming along. See you in the next one.